Hello everyone, welcome back to my video channel and this video is about the uh, optional uh, subject uh, that is uh, um, OE subject uh, 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 that is uh, food, nutrition and health. So in that uh, the first chapter is nutrition and dietary nutrients. So uh, I'm going to start with the first chapter that is nutrition and dietary nutrient. In that uh, the first uh, unit, uh, the first content is the basic concepts of food and components and nutrients. Okay. So uh, in this video we will uh, discuss uh, about the uh, a short introduction. Okay. And then uh, definition of food and then definition of nu uh, nutrition and definition of nutrients. Okay. And later we will discuss the components of food. Okay. Component uh, in components of food uh, you are going to get the carbohydrates, proteins, uh, vit uh, uh, vitamins. Um, fats then my macronutrients and micronut uh, that is micronutrients and micronutrients so in that uh, micronutrients you are going to get the vitamins and minerals okay we will discuss that uh, as uh, uh, now okay mm. now we will start with the introduction now uh, so uh, as we all know so in our day to day life the basic needs uh, are the food air water okay these are the basic needs so so among the among those the first uh, among those the one uh, important one is uh, food okay so food is the basic necessity of a man because food is the one which gives us energy uh, to do work or to participate in any kind of activities such as uh, jumping running walking singing dancing everything every time so when we um, uh, have the food we will get energy so that uh, will in turn helps to, to do our work so mm, uh, then uh, food is a mixture of uh, different uh, nutrients that is carbohydrates protein fats vitamins and minerals okay so this uh, food contain, uh, con, uh, contains the uh, nutrients okay which are essential for the uh, growth uh, development uh, maintenance of good health mm, and also maintenance of good life okay so now let us know uh, what is this food so we can define food like this food uh, is a uh, nutritive substance taken by an organism for energy to do work growth and development and repair and maintaining life process okay so what is food so food it is a nutritive substance okay it is a nutritive substance that is taken by an organism that is living organisms F uh, that food will provides the energy to do work okay and also for the growth okay development repair and maintaining the life processes so for all uh, that is the definition of the food so how we can uh, say this food it is a kind of fuel like uh, we people are using car okay buses uh, um, like own vehicles uh, scooters everything so okay for that uh, it needs a fuel fuel like diesel and petrol in the same way the food uh, is uh, fuel for our body okay uh, so we must eat uh, to provide us energy that is known as uh, staple food okay staple food is the one which provides the energy which contains all the nutrients okay so opposite to that junk food junk food is the one which contains the low low, uh, low nutrients there are less nutrients in that and it has high calories uh, in it okay, uh, okay uh, then uh, New, uh, we will move on to then let now let us know what is this nutrition here so nutrition is uh, so so many times we heard the word nutrition food uh, nutrients so uh, f sometimes we feel no yeah i know what is nutrition what are nutrients and all but at the uh, in the during the exam time while writing the examination or if somebody suddenly asks we know the meaning but we can't able to define it okay now, so we will know the definition here first the nutrition is the study of composition of food materials and the quantities of food materials required by our body for growth maintenance and survival is called nutrition means nutrition uh, means it is the study of composition of food materials okay it is the study of composition of food materials uh, that means uh, if you have the food if you see this if it is a food if you have this food we should study what uh, what are the composition it has like how much it has carbohydrate how much it has proteins how much it has fat and how much it has vitamins and how much it has minerals okay that uh, that study okay and then the quantities of the food materials okay so uh, our food al irtakanta quantities okay uh, so that we are going to study that is required by a, by our body 
for what for growth maintenance and survival that is called nutrition because different uh, age group and um, the people who are involved in the physical activity for them um, the requirement is different okay so uh, like uh, if you if you have to take the children children they needs the more uh, protein content but the uh, the people who involved in the physical activity uh, he needs more carbohydrates than the proteins okay like that so so it is nothing but study of composition of food materials and the quantities of food of materials required by our body uh, for growth maintenance and survival is called nutrition okay uh, so we can say like this also nutrition is the science that interprets the relationship of the food to the functioning of the living organisms or you can say it is the science of food it and its relationship to the health that is called as nutrition means in that it is nothing but it is a study of science means uh, st uh, sorry a study of food means food food al irthakanta materials eno quantities eno adru bage study martivi adu matte adruna yavadru jothe nam health jothe so nam health chanagi irbeku andre eshtu requirement bekagutte ee person ge each person ge anaduna now study martivi okay the same meaning for this also interprets the relationship of the food and to the functioning of the living organism the meaning is the same okay now so as i mentioned here food uh, what i said food is a uh, what i said just now food is a nutritive substance right so now let us know uh, obvious now, now we get to know that uh, food contains the nutrients okay food is composed of wide distribution of nutrients okay which have a very specific metabolic effects on the human body now let us know what are these nutrients okay so here nutrients are uh, uh, are nothing uh, nutrients are nothing but are uh, chemical uh, compounds in the food that are used by the body to function properly and maintain health okay so those uh, nutrients are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamin minerals etc okay the, uh, those are called as nutrients and again these nutrients are generally divided into uh, two categories okay that is first one macronutrient second one is micronutrient now we will move on to the components of food so here is the components of food here components of food the in that two types macronutrients and micronutrients in macronutrients macro means uh, large micro means small so uh, the nutrients which are required in the large quantity those are called as macronutrients and the micronutrients are those which required in the uh, less or low quantity okay so your macronutrients are carbohydrates fats uh, proteins and micronutrients are vitamins and minerals again vitamins are of two types that is water soluble vitamins and uh, fat soluble vitamins here minerals are again macro minerals and micro minerals water soluble vitamins are vitamin c and vitamin b complex and fat soluble vitamins are uh, uh, vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k okay and macro minerals are sodium phosphorus calcium and potassium and micro minerals are iron zinc selenium magnesium and manganese and cobalt okay these are micro minerals and in carbohydrates also we are going to get the different types of carbohydrates like uh, such as polysaccharides oligosaccharides monosaccharides like that uh, but here we uh, are studying only the components of food in the next chapter that is there in depth now we will just study the components of food okay these are the components of food and that uh, another two types another two types will include that is obvious water and then next is the roughage okay these two and these all and water and roughage these actually forms the components of food so food has many different components and each component is necessary for one or the other function okay the major function of our food are components of our food are carbohydrates fats proteins minerals water roughage and vitamins okay now we will study one by one in that first one we are going to start with the carbohydrates as i mentioned before so the uh, as i said before carbohydrates protein fats minerals salts and vitamins are called nutrients because they are required for survival of living beings like human beings uh, like us okay so uh, even we know that the water is also important constituent of our food actually that makes uh, two third of our body weight it is but it is not usually considered as a nutrient okay so uh, we can live without the food but we can't live without the water okay um, and our diet usually uh, contains the entire nutrient in uh, varying amount for example uh, you can say egg and meat gives us protein and butter ghee gives us fat 
and whereas fruits and vegetable gives us minerals and vitamins okay now we will look at the carbohydrates so what are carbohydrates carbohydrates are the compounds that are made up of three elements okay uh, those are carbon oxygen and hydrogen and here the proportion of hydrogen and oxygen being same as in the water okay that is 2 is to 1 the term carbohydrates actually means hydrates of carbon because it contains the it contains the um, hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 2 is to 1 as like that of the water okay for example you can give the example of glucose sucrose starch etc and uh, the, the, this uh, carbohydrates it is the main source of energy okay and it, it forms about 60 to 80 percent of the total energy uh, contained in our di diet that is that comes from the carbohydrate okay and for normal person uh, for per uh, daily uh, he requires 400 to 5 grams of carbohydrates now we will move on to the sources of carbohydrates the carbohydrates in our food is obtained mainly from plant sources like uh, wheat rice maize potato peas beans and fruits and uh, vegetables and milk products these are the some of the uh, examples for the sources of the carbohydrate now we will move on to the fats okay nothing but the lipids here the first we will know the definition here so what are fats fats are esters of long chain fatty acids and an alcohol called glycerol and the fats are actually made up of three elements as like that of the carbohydrates like carbon hydrogen and oxygen but only difference between the uh, fats and carbohydrate uh, uh, is that it con fats contains less proportion of oxygen uh, as it consists of three molecules of fatty acids and one molecule of uh, glycerol okay mean it means that it con it contains the high proportion high proportion of carbon and hydrogen and low proportion of oxygen okay and even these fats are the members of a heterogeneous groups of organic compounds known as um, uh, lipids okay here uh, what are this heterogeneous group heterogeneous means hetero means different okay and these uh, actually lipids made up of different kinds of uh, uh, chemical compounds like uh, these made up of uh, um, uh, sphingolipids uh, carbohydrates proteins a lipid is made up of all of these things that's why these are heterogeneous group okay um, now uh, like carbohydrates the main function of this fat is also to provide the uh, energy okay so for this purpose uh, they are deposited in various fat depo depots uh, within the body and under the skin uh, like in the adipose tissue we can say okay uh, actually this fats actually provides the double energy as compared to the uh, carbohydrates uh, here um, fats why they will provides more energy than the carbohydrates because uh, fat molecules contains the higher percentage of uh, carbon and uh, hydrogen but less percentage of oxygen okay than that of the carbohydrate due to that less percentage of oxygen present in it a fat molecules requires a more oxygen for its combustion hence this will produce a less less heat energy okay and these fats are water insoluble and they are soluble in organic solvents such as ether and the chloroforms the in in uh, in uh, fats we can also see uh, different kinds of uh, fats like uh, essential fats and uh, non essential fats in uh, different types of uh, fats uh, we can uh, study those things in the um, next video in depth okay now i am just give, giving an in this video i am just uh, referring to the com as a components of food now we will move on to the sources of fat here the, so these fats from where we are going to get these fats are supplied to our body by many foods like butter milk and egg okay and even all the cooking oils that we use that will pro, uh, eat in our daily life that uh, that will give the fat also okay so as if you have to give the example uh, in coconut oil the major fatty acid present in coconut oil is octonic acid okay and in animals the major fat present in animals is stearic acid and in plants the major fatty acid present in plant is oleic acid now uh, so coming to in, uh, importance uh, what are the functions of this fat as i may, obviously as i mentioned before this they provides the energy 
okay that is the first function as light of the carbohydrates the, these will also provides the energy but the mainer um, the major answer is that they will provide the insulation against the heat uh, okay so uh, like insulation uh, against the heat and also uh, uh, when uh, uh, provides the against the cold also okay and they acts as a water barrier also they provide the insulation like when we um, uh, like uh, exposed uh, to the cold area there uh, it will what with the uh, uh, fat content we have so that will uh, actually uh, if you have to say uh, like if you have to make you understand very easily see uh, the fat person who is very fat he frequently feel very um, hot okay compared to the person who is thin and the fat person if you exposed to the cold uh, uh, area is not he doesn't feel the shivering uh, as immediately as that of the lean person okay that we can say and acts as a uh, and this is also act as a water barrier and it protects against the injury also uh, and this is actually provides the structural component of the uh, cellular membrane and also uh, uh, some of the hormones uh, have the fat content okay these are the important and in the uh, next video we will study the uh, next components of the food that is uh, we left with the proteins and then uh, vitamins and then uh, minerals mm, uh, and water and roughages we will discuss all these in the uh, next video i hope this video is helpful for you all and if you learn something from this video please do subscribe and share uh, thank you everyone